So my name is Molly McKinley. I'm the IPFS project lead. We're here in Barcelona, Spain uh, for the first IPFS camp. It's June 2019, and we're really excited to bring together this awesome community of developers and community organizers and hackers who are so excited about building the next distributed web. I'm really excited to get to meet all of these faces that I mostly know as GitHub handles um, and also find opportunities to connect people. There's some really cool components of IPFS camp that really brought people into participating in the community. And those were things like the poster sessions and the deep dives, where you're either taking existing parts of the IPFS stack, like the DHT or BitSwap or um, other content routing protocols or um, kind of features that were built on top of that, and deep diving on that problem and building a poster of <laughs> how does it actually work, which is a really cool experience to get people who are less familiar with something leveled up on it. And then the deep dives are like big open problems where it's like, we don't know the answer to this. Let's get together in a group and talk about the solution space and, and see if there's anything we can propose. That was like, I think a cool um, demonstration of the fact that we're all in this community working on these same problems and coming up with what the solution should be and uh, anyone's empowered to go in and uh, go and solve it, come up with a proposal and solution. The sci-fi fair was the most high energy part of the entire event because you had all of these like either physical or digital things that people had built. There was like a new BLE uh, transport for libp2p so that people can be sharing um, you know, messages and, and other things over Bluetooth. You had like laser cat bots, you know, you could control these um, super awesome like mechanical um, bots with lasers attached to them that looked super amazing. There was a really cool DHT visualizer. There were, you know, the textile folks had this tag app that everyone was running around. There was also some tons of lightning talks and that for me also really opened up the your eyes as to all the cool stuff happening in this ecosystem. Stuff that like, you know, I didn't know existed. I don't think anyone else in the community knew because there wasn't a, you know, a forum or, or a way of like broadcasting out about it. There was a a, a cool lightning talk about ETHDNS, which is this cool thing that the Ethereum name service is working on to um, kind of make it so that you can resolve ENS domains that you can do like, you know, someone, someone's website dot ETH and then resolve it over IPFS. There were people from all over the community that participated in creating kind of workshops or giving um, kind of how to presentations of, of using various parts of the IPFS ecosystem or the IPFS stack. So we're really great explainers on like, what is a DHT? What is a distributed hash table? Why do I care? So there was um, workshops on how files work, you know, what, what the tree looks like, what the different options are for um, kind of how to chunk this up, um, how to, you know, map between nodes. There was awesome stuff on like, um, kind of doing content routing above that. So like, you know, how BitSwap works. There's a lot of really awesome stuff there as well to um, either level up on core parts of IPFS or on core, um, like kind of pieces of the ecosystem that a lot of people are starting to use. So like the textile stack, that group gave a, a really awesome workshop on the work they're doing. There was a workshop on identity. There was a workshop on IPFS cluster. And so a lot of stuff that, you know, kind of builds up a core understanding and then branches on top of it to like figure out what those, um, you know, pieces that people want to use a lot, but they want the opportunity to understand it and actually practice doing it with someone. And in doing this, in trying to create these workshops, people also were looking at the documentation and we're looking at things and being like, hmm, we could actually embed these uh, teaching tools back into the, the core bits of where we're trying to explain this, either in the documentation or in stuff like Proto School, which is trying to have workshops and have content that people can use to level up on concepts in the D-Web space. It, it was more about like, you know, everyone being involved in creating this content. You know, it's a camp, right? Where it's not so much like, you know, a series of presentations. It was like people getting together and like hacking on stuff, hacking on ideas, creating posters, sharing knowledge um, that really got people connected to each other and showing their own projects and getting people excited about their projects so that, you know, there's a, an opportunity to collaborate or use something, um, which, you know, is super exciting.